A dog ear is the extra bit of tissue at the end of one side of a wound. It occurs on the longer edge of a wound. It cannot be corrected by suturing it under. Instead, you have to lengthen the edge of the wound and then remove the extra tissue. This demonstration uses a skin model to illustrate the correct method for dealing with a dog ear. The wound repair adjacent to the dog ear illustrated is uneven because of the method used to create the dog ear. In clinical practice, the repaired wound adjacent to the dog ear would lie flat. As you can see from the video, the dog ear is raised above the surrounding tissue and will not lie flat. To repair a dog ear defect, you first extend a line out 45 degrees from the wound going towards the side with the dog ear. Once you have marked the skin, you undermine the area beneath the dog ear. Next, using a pair of scissors, you cut along the line to extend the end of the wound. This will leave you with an extra piece of tissue, which you then grasp with forceps and stretch until it lies flat. Then, using scissors again, you cut this extra piece of tissue off using the 45 degree cut you had previously made as a guide. The final step is to suture close the remaining wound. In the final example, the closed wound lies flat without any puckers along the wound edge. Creating a dog ear defect for practice is surprisingly difficult. We use the Limbs and Things Professional Skin Pad in this video. To start, we made a defect that measured 3 centimeters in length, and then on one side removed a curved piece of tissue which left a defect in the model measuring 3 centimeters in length and 1 centimeter in width. We extensively undermined the curved edge of the model to allow that edge of the wound to stretch more easily. Following this, we started at one end of the skin model and stretched it on the curved side of the wound while suturing down through the subcutaneous tissue into the adjacent wound edge. With sufficient stretching, which is really quite a lot, you will produce a dog ear defect for practice.